Renita Young joins us from the newsroom. Uh, but we're going to talk some uh, exchanges first, some big market structure developments potentially, Renita. Uh, tell us about this Texas stock exchange. Yeah, well, it's backed by Black or BlackRock and Citadel. And apparently the thing here is that there's been a lot more regulation lately and a lot more uh, compliance fees for the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. And the creators of the Texas Stock Exchange say that it will have less red tape and they're billing it as a more CEO-friendly alternative to the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. So far, they've raised about $120 million from around two dozen investors and they're planning to file that registration, uh, those documents with the SEC sometime later this year and then start facilitating trades next year and host its first listing in 2026. Now, they're differentiating themselves, as I say, by saying it's a more friendly, more CEO-friendly alternative. Um, but also, they want to skirt some of the newer rules that the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange has, like the push for board diversity, for instance, at the NASDAQ um, and other things that the CEOs sometimes feel like they don't want to contend with. Um, but they're also competing with this shifting corporate landscape, Oliver, because several companies have moved their headquarters out to Texas because they want a more tax favorable uh, state. They want more or less compliance, less regulation to contend with. Um, and Texas is a place where you can do that. This will be a fully electric stock exchange, but it will have a physical presence in downtown Dallas, according to reports. All of this was first reported by the Wall Street Journal. Okay. CEO friendly alternative. CEO okay. friendly. All right. Well, the state's kind of gotten that you know, reputation over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the big businesses and notably Tesla and others have moved there. So, uh, all right. Um, cool. Fun. Another exchange. Let's do it. Uh, why not? Okay. Well, others have failed in recent years. Yeah. And that have been backed by BlackRock and Citadel. Um, so it's worth noting that, uh, but we'll find out how this is. Some of them have failed. Some of them have been folded into the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. That's the um, big one, yeah. That's the big one. That, Several of yeah. them. You know, so we'll find out how much success this has. Off the top, though, $120 million investment from about two dozen investors. Yeah. Uh, past decade very clearly marked by um, exchanges closing and consolidating uh, and merging. So this would be uh, a definite, uh, a distinct shift in that. Uh, fun story, though. Okay. Uh, we, we will keep our eyes on it and maybe do a little get a desk down there when they launch. Yeah. My show with the 10 gallon hat. <laughs> I wonder what the logo is going to look like. It's going to have the horns. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Could be a different vibe. Uh, okay. Thanks, Renita.